This is as far as back in time I have been with this series regarding flagships. I barely made it work last time with a single card, mind you with many headaches as well. But this time I had to outsource. So a big shout out goes to my good friend Hilton. Hey man, thank you again. Since he was the one to make it work on Windows XP out of everything with very old Nvidia drivers. So all the gameplay you are going to see comes from him and we didn't even bother to record the gameplay with in-game overlay since if you sneezed you would risk making the cards fail. As for the specs he used the W3565 quad core Xeon CPU on the X58 platform and like I said on Windows XP with Nvidia drivers version 93.81. The idea is that anything else on Windows 7, 8, 10, you name it, if you try to enable Quad SLI, the computer would just crash. So let's begin. As before, we will test 720p and 1080p resolutions with various settings that at least would give us some playable numbers. If anything is different, I will point out on the spot. First up, we have some synthetic benchmarks. In heaven, we get on low settings at 720p, just under 20 FPS while at 1080p even less than that at 10 frames per second as an average. Yeah, not going well so far. The game Fear, if you remember Alma, in the integrated benchmark with everything on max on 720p we finally get good numbers showing that Quad SRI can work on these cards as long as there is optimization, which of course is no surprise. Also 1080p at max again confirms everything so far. Counter-Strike GO surprisingly works really well on both resolutions with the quality settings left on auto. Crisis Warhead follows the surprise path of CSGO and delivers excellent numbers on low settings at both resolutions. Devil May Cry it is playable only on 720p resolution because at 1080p the average it is cut right in half. Tomb Raider scales to deliver the 30fps minimum average limit only at 1080p on low settings. At 720p the performance is really low. The last game in the list is Witcher 1, which fully delivers on both resolution and at maximum quality settings. So we end the gaming session in style. Overall we definitely saw some improvements in some games when compared to only one card. But we all know the story that such an exotic setup nowadays is very very dependent on drivers and game optimization. Not to mention the elephant in the room that for this particular Quad SLI test, we had to use Windows XP, so yeah. <laughs> there you have it guys, with special thanks again to Hilton, and until the next video in the series, Alex out.